And so I would like us to see or rather look at three areas of difficulty. I know there are more, but these are the most common, and uh, the Bible does speak about them. So the first one is wickedness or sin. So sin or wickedness in the society, in our culture, has made it very difficult for us to fully exercise stewardship. And some, it's more than others. We see, for example, there is the wickedness of injustice. Okay? Look at, for example, what the Bible says about injustice. That there are certain laws that are passed or that are made or certain decrees that are made by those in leadership that then make it very hard for people to be stewards. Okay? They pass laws that hinder people from fully engaging in what God has given them to do. And Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1 speaks of a certain situation that was happening in Israel at that time. Isaiah 10 and verse 1, this is what the prophet says, Woe to those who decree iniquitous, iniquitous decrees and the writers who keep writing oppression. Okay? So there are decrees that are full of iniquity, and then there are those who are writing oppression. What are they doing? To turn aside the needy from justice and to rob the poor of my people of their right, that widows may be their spoil and that they may make the fatherless their prey. So there is that reality that there is injustice. There is injustice such that an example in the Bible where you have a man, uh, Naboth, and Naboth takes care of his little vineyard. And he is a man who is a good steward. It's just a small field. He doesn't have a big field. And he works it. And he takes care of it. Such that when King Ahab looks outside his window every morning, what does he see? He sees the vineyard of Naboth. He sees how wonderful it is. How the grapes, you know, are just uh, shining under the reflection of the sun. They have this deep color and they are green. And he sees Naboth every day working on that field. But what happens to the stewardship of this man? Naboth ends up dead. The king conspires together with his wife, Jezebel, and they kill this man, and they rob him of what was his. So there is that reality of injustice in the society. And we see it even here in Kenya, right? That people invest and people take time to start a business only for a big person to say you must give me a certain percentage of your company if you want to continue here. And we know that there are certain companies that have left this country. We know that there are people who have gone to other countries because they see the injustice in this nation. So injustice does that. There is injustice in terms of the laws, and uh, we can see this in, also in areas like racist regimes. In, in apartheid South Africa, uh, most of us didn't, uh, we, we, we didn't grow up at that time when uh, apartheid was there, but because of the color of your skin, you are limited in what you could do. You may be skilled, you may be qualified, you may even be the most hard-working person in a company. But you would not be rewarded, you would not be promoted, you would not even be recognized. There are those realities. 
There are those who withhold the wages of the poor. And James warns the, of this in uh, James chapter 5 and verse 4. Behold the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud. Okay, so they used fraud. They used maybe a certain law or a certain system to ensure that they do not pay people what they ought to be paid. These people are crying out against you. And the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. So even in that injustice, James assures us that yes, there may be injustice. He doesn't tell the, the laborers to strike or to stop working. He says that your cries have been heard by God. Heaven has heard those cries. Heaven has seen those tears. Those who would seek to dispossess the poor. God is watching. So what should we do under an injustice system? Should we say, well, now I can't work because the system is unjust? No. We must continue being godly stewards of what God has given to us. Our hands may be, in a sense, limited. We may have to steward with one hand tied behind us, and we only have one hand, but we must still work. Why? Because the God of heaven sees and hears. So there is that reality of wickedness and especially injustice. <laughs>